Hey everyone, so we are going to discuss the solution of this question today. It's a question on linear algebra which was asked in gate 2021. So you have a row reduce echelon form 4 by 4 matrix. Okay, so R is RREF for the matrix A whose third column is given to be 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, other interest can be anything but then R has to be row reduce echelon form. Then we have to see whether the P and Q, these are true or the false statements. What is the P statement? If alpha, beta, gamma, 0 is a solution of AX equal to 0, then your gamma has to be 0. Is this always true for any R, which is RREF? Let's try to see that. So over here, you can see that R is 0, 1, 0, 0. That's the third column. Now, since R is RREF, so if I take this as 1, then this 0, 0, 0. Now this is RREF, so all the entries below the 1 should be 0. Now here if I take second entry to be 1, then all the entries here should also be 0, right? And let me take this as 0, 0, 0. So this can be one of the R, right? This can be one of the R. Now see, Gauss proved that AX equal to 0 if and only if. The same as saying your Rx equal to 0, where what is R? R is the RREF, row reduce echelon form for the matrix A. So to see the solution for this system is same as to see the solution for this system. But we will see that if I take this as my R, then the statement P is false. Okay, so this the statement P is not true for every R. Okay, so now how should I disprove that? So I should give you one example, right? So if I take 1, 0, 0, 0, so if I take this as my R and here see what I want, I want this to be 0. So if I take 0, 1, minus 1, 0. Okay, that means if I take for this R, if I take alpha to be 0, beta to be 1 and gamma to be minus 1. Then this, this vector is forming the solution for Ax equal to 0, whereas my gamma is not 0. Okay, so all the conditions are getting satisfied. This R is RREF, third column is 0, 1, 0, 0, and this R into X bar is 0 bar. But then your gamma is not equal to 0. Okay, therefore the first statement P statement is a false statement. What about Q? Well, even Q is not correct. So one has to think for this actually. So if I take A as 1, 0, 0, 0, See, I want that R, right? So let me take this as my A matrix. Okay. Now here, if you do R3 minus R2, then what I get is I get the R matrix, the row reduce echelon form, which I took earlier, 0, 1, 1, 0. And the last two rows are 0. Correct. This is my R. If I take B as 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. Then let us try to see what is the rank of A augmented B. Now how my A augmented B will look like? That is what my question is. Okay, so if I rewrite this, this is my A augmented B, 1, 1, 1, 0. As I, you can see, the rank of A augmented B is nothing but 2. Why it is 2? Because once I do R3 minus R2, what will I get? I will get 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, all these entries will be 0, right? And here 1, 1, 0, 0. So I can see that the rank of A augmented B is nothing but 2. What about this rank of R augmented B? What is my R? It is 1, 0, 0, 0. This is 0, 1, 1, 0 and last two entries are rows are 0. And if I take here as B, what was my B? 1, 1, 1 and 0. So what is the rank of R augmented B? Rank of R augmented B is nothing but 3 because I have this as a non-zero row, this as a non-zero row and here you can see this is also the non-zero row. So rank of A augmented B need not be equal to rank of R augmented B. Okay, therefore the statement P and Q both are false statements. So I hope this example is clear. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you.